Breaking news. Turkey President Erdogan is one of the leading figures that supplies Boko Haram military arsenals to bombard the innocent and indigenous people of Nigeria. Great and wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, I greet you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your place of domicile. I welcome you to this program. Very, very short analysis on this news. Of course, I have posted something earlier on with regards to this news, and I promise that I will come to make the full analysis on it, that to throw more light to it, that you may understand it further. And that is the reason why I am here to do the same thing as I promised. Before we go to this news, I want you to read with me. There is an article that came in in 2021, December. There is an article that is, you know, I found in 2021, December, and I decided that I must keep the link of this article. So that same article is the one that I am going to use to analyze this news that we just received and using that article, the reason why I want to reflect on that article, we want to find out the relationship between your president or the cabals in Asorok with the Turkish um, government, which is declared as a terrorist with a blood rage. Terrorist with blood rage. That is exactly what they are known for. And apparently, they are friends with your president of course you can see it here but that's not uh, um, uh, to be emphasized on a lot i want you to follow the news with me as i am reading it maybe we will be able to di discover something because we've been asking ourselves who are those that are sponsoring terrorism in nigeria we've been trying to understand and we've been exposing that the cabals in asorok knows about the sponsorship of the terrorism if you may understand some years ago where people discovered that boko haram the people giving them weapons are coming with a helicopter dropping them weapons dropping for them food and everything their sponsor and this helicopter apparently will take signals from any nigeria aviation you know place or have any airport before they will be able to take off and land they must take you know signal from the aviation department so there is no way nigeria will be having a, um, aircraft inside sambisa forest without them being able to give account to about with regards to the activities of that aircraft because they granted that aircraft a, a signal there is no aircraft that will fly in nigeria without the knowledge of the aviation in the in nigeria so let us just leave that one as you know where we just uh, start this program with let us read this news let me bring it closer that we may read it together. I want us to read it together so that we will be able to, you know, you will know that I am not talking gibberish. Now, desperate to address the rising insecurity in Nigeria, President Mohammed Buhari has entered into a controversial deal with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey to keep some companies under surveillance. How might this affect Nigeria's drive for foreign direct investment? Are you seeing it? If you go up, you will see the real headline. Nigeria places Erdogan enemies on surveillance. Nigeria places Erdogan enemies on surveillance in an exchange for Turkish military assistance. For Turkish military assistance. My question now, my question now goes this way. Is this really military assistance as the news that is leaked, you know, advised that Nigeria Boko Haram is being supplied with military arsenals by Turkish 
government led by Erdogan, yeah, Erdogan, the terrorist with the blood reach, the terrorist with the broad reach, orange, broad, blood rage, rather. These are the people that is said to be the ones supplying all the military equipment, all the armors, all the guns and bullets, explosive and all that, to your Boko Haram that is killing and displacing you from your communities. This is Turkey's government, the one that Nigeria went into agreement with. From 2015, ever since 2015, Boko Haram has been growing strong, strong and strong. And they came to the knowledge of us that there was a desperate rising insecurity in Nigeria. President Buhari has entered into a controversial deal with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey, which is the same president that we are talking about that is led the organization that is supplying your Boko Haram with military arsenals in order to continue to bombard you. Now let's continue to read this news before we go to the, that very exposition that was done in Middle East by this reliable news source that carries everything that is playing out in the Middle East. We are going to go there, but I want to refresh your mind back in 2021, December, I think, uh, 27th of December, where this news surfaced. Remember, the alliance was formed in 2015. The alliance was formed in 2015, which I am going to. Okay. Oh, the alliance was formed in 2015, which I might reflect on it while reading this news so let us continue the, with the reading exactly five years ago are you paying attention nigeria and turkey were embroiled in a diplomatic role having just survived a coup and assassination attempt president erdogan was on a mission to expose and arrest all those behind at the attack that claimed 300 lives erdogan said the coup Plotter, we are linked to the Gulen movement, which is designated as a terrorist organization by Turkey and led by Fethullah Gulen, a Turkish businessman and influential cleric who is in exile in the USA. This person is in exile in the USA, where El Dokan has declared his organization a terrorist organization which we do not know the activities of this organization but we know the activities of ipob of course you know this government declared ipob a terrorist organization because they are fighting a just cause to liberate themselves from this slave you know modern day slavery that nigeria is using against the people so we want to restore the kingdom of elohim in the face of the planet which existed before Nigeria, which is the reason why Nigeria called the organization that we are using to, you know, to carry out the activities of this movement, to sponsor this movement, which is known popularly as IPOB. And they called it a terrorist movement. The same way the Turkish president called the Gulen movement a terrorist movement, and the same, the the influential businessman, which is based in the United States, that is led, that is the leading figure of this Gulen movement, they called a terrorist organization in Turkey. It is a similar move that Nigeria made with IPOB, the same that Erdogan, Turkish government made with the Gulen movement. And the worst part of it is, if the Gulen movement is indeed a terrorist organization, why is the United States stopping Turkey from extraditing him? Let us continue with the news. Probably we will be able to analyze and unpack that, you know, to make it clearer. Let us continue. Gulen, a former ally of Erdogan, reportedly denied this allegation. He also claimed that he didn't know the 99% of the members of his influential movement, which boost, which boasts of three to six million members worldwide worldwide 
after frustrated attempt to extradite Gulen from the U.S., Erdogan began reaching out to several African leaders with a view to shuttle, to shorten all businesses linked to the Gulen movement in their countries. Did you see that? After all the... This is actually mostly the twin of what is happening in Nigeria, what Nigeria is doing with IPOB. If you look at it, after all the attempt that this cabal in Asorok made in order to label IPOB a terrorist movement, they could not succeed, which led them going to bomb the pipeline to, you know, knowing that British, you know, British government, they are having their first year in that pipeline, that it is the only thing that maybe if they try to, you know, to spite the British government, British government will now see IPOB as a terrorist, not thinking that British government is the God that leads this world, that whoever that they declare terrorists will become terrorists. That is the plan, that was the move that they made in order to blow up a pipeline in Nigeria, just to say it is IPOB who blew up the pipeline for Britain to call on their allies to label IPOB a terrorist, the same move that the Turkish government has been made, making against this Gulen, against this Gulen organization, calling them, first of all, they proscribed them, calling on the international community to proscribe them, which did not work. They tried to, you know, extradite their leader back to Turkey in the USA, which did not happen. Now they are now calling on their African allies, the ones that are very, very gullible to manipulation. They call on them to target the businesses of this Gulen movement in order to shut them down. Which Nigeria, on top of this news you saw, they say they will place a surveillance in order to make sure they target all the enemies of Erdogan, the government of Turkey. Let us continue reading the news. On July 28, 2016, the Turkish ambassador to Nigeria, the Turkish ambassador to Nigeria, Hakan, Hakan Kakil, called on Nigeria to close 17 Turkish schools in, in the country with ties to the Gulen movement we are requesting the Nigeria government to close down the schools. I have requested officially, both orally and in writing, the closure of these schools. Also, I have sent a letter to Mr. Geoffrey Onyema, foreign minister, in bracket, and Mr. Abakiari, chief of armed staff, to the president. Of course, you know Abakiari, the late Abakiari, who carried out the office of president when president died in 2017 and um, before they were able to clone this man that is taking the position of your president today so we continue reading the news about this subject and requested and requested their support for the closure of the schools he said apart from schools several institutions affected including hospitals and other establishments are you paying attention remember Nigeria does not have adequate infrastructure towards education sector. Nigeria does not have adequate infrastructure towards healthcare system. They do not have facilities for healthcare. Now that we are called to close down the schools and the healthcare, let us actually see the response to this call in 2016. Coming at the time Nigeria was facing one of its worst economic downturn ever the government was reluctant to honor such a request the nigeria minister of education adamu adamu said request would not be considered until turkish government provided satisfactory evidence yes this is what they were they wrote on the news but let's continue turkish launches offensive nigeria unfavorable response further inf infiltrated the turkish government Consequently, several Nigeria students at attending Turkish schools abroad were arrested while other were deported for reasons never stated. Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? They were deported for reasons best known to them. 
ordinary individual who never committed any crime just because they are attending school in Turkey. They were deported back to Nigeria. Now we continue to read President Buhari's advisor on diaspora affairs. At the time, Abaik Dabiri Eriwa confirmed to local media that the Minister of Foreign Affairs, through the permanent secretary, summoned the Turkish ambassador immediate, immediately. The information was received while both countries are working to resolve the issue through every possible diplomatic channel. The Ministry of Info the Ministry of Foreign Affairs made it clear that such act against Nigeria will not be accepted. Okay, we continue to read. In a bid to cut ties with Turkish following the pressure from the Erdogan government, the business the businesses that were linked to Gulen in Nigeria began removing Turkish from their business name and rebranded completely, although they maintain their Turkish orientation. Some of these companies include the Nigeria Turkish International College, NTIC, with branches in Kaduna, Abuja, Kano, Yobe, Ogun, and Lagos. The schools changed its name to Nigeria Talib International School. Also, this Nigeria Turkish Nile University changed its name to simply Nile University, the Nigeria Turkish Nizamiye Hospital, which was pro patronized by Nigeria elite, was simply changed into Nizamiye Hospital. Now we continue to read. Despite these moves, however, Turkish remained adamant. In 2019, the, the new Turkish ambassador to Nigeria, Meli, Meli Uluelin said at an event in commemoration of the third year anniversary of Coop that Turkish Mari Foundation had been set up to take over all businesses' interests linked to the Gulen movement. Erohan offers. Now, this is where the offer came, came in. This is exactly where the offer came in. The Erdogan offered Nigeria. Let us see how dodgy this offer could may be that, you know, led this exposition of Turkey government sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria and supplying them with all the equipment that they desire in order to make these terrorists strong and strong and stronger to continue to bombard Nigeria. Let us see if it is because they refuse to honor their move. That is the reason why Turkey is busy sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria or promoting terrorism in Nigeria. Or rather, that the request that these people made, the alliance they requested with Nigeria was to continue to curb or to continue to, you know, support the Boko Haram that Nigeria will go ahead to hear their request. Because, of course, you know, Nigeria government is in support of Boko Haram. That is the reason why they were not able to declare Zamfara State a state of emergency, Kastena State a state of emergency, Yobe State a state of emergency. They never care to declare them state of emergency. So we are now trying to find out if indeed... It has something to do with this offer that we are going to read for you right now. Let us continue with the news reading. Erdogan offers. Erdogan's offer. With Turkey unable to take over the interest, the business interest of Gulen movement in Nigeria, Erdogan decided to take a new approach and give Nigeria an offer that they will that will be difficult to refuse <laughs> give them offer that will be difficult to refuse let us actually hear that offer that they gave nigeria that is actually difficult to refuse if i may be you know if i may be a critical thinker i could say it is to take care of boko haram needs to take care of boko haram needs which led them 
led to this news that I am going to show you in a video. Okay, let's continue to read. Nigeria has been witnessing a rise in insecurity in the recent times with thousands killed by insurgents in the north in a desperate need for weapon and intelligence amid an impending arm embargo by the United States Congress due to human rights Congress due to human rights concerns Nigeria needed to explore other options and unlike the US Turkey will be willing to partner with Nigeria with such stringent human rights conditions Okay, now what I understood here, or what I understood here is that the US are now giving Nigeria a condition to give them weapon. Having seen that Nigeria is the one empowering the Boko Haram and the terrorists in, in the country, they now give them a stringent condition that will, you know, that will be in line with human rights in Nigeria. That is the reason why Nigeria snubbed now the offer of the USA and now went ahead to, uh, you know, to procure weapons for these terrorists in Turkey. We are going to confirm that because this is like a conspiracy theory that I am giving you until we play that news for you to confirm that it is not a conspiracy theory. Now let's continue to read. I brought this so that you will go back in time and understand the meaning of that video i am going to show you in a short while just pay attention continue to share this video until you watch and you see to the end of this video making a direct reference to nigeria's security Quagmaya, eldohan during his visit to nigeria in october told Niger president buhari that his administration would continuously share intelligence with nigeria authorities he was quick to add that those behind the attempt, attempted coup in Turkey, we are still very active in Nigeria and they are needed to be quid pro quo. To be quid pro quo. The, sensitive, the sensitivity we show in fighting terrorism, I hope will be rep you know reciprocated by our nigeria brothers and sisters and our counterparts the perpetrators of the heinous failed coup of july the 15th fatal are still very active in nigeria and we are and we are continually sharing our intelligence with nigeria sharing our intelligence with nigeria in ta Locoto, interlocutor, and the authorities, Erdogan said, interlocutor or locato. Erdogan said, he said he hoped to expand trade volume from the current $2 billion to $5 billion between Nigeria and Turkey. And he was hopeful that the relationship between the two countries would be further developed on the basis of a win-win situation and on the basis of a not mutual respect as a as a show of good faith buhari immediately announced the removal of turkish turkey from nigeria covid 19 red list wow after that that's when this news came in they removed them from red list even though they were still supposed to be on the red list. Nigeria removed them from the red list. Now, Nigeria president, I continue, revealed that they signed eight major agreements with Turkey on several key sectors, including energy, defense, including energy, energy, <laughs> energy, oil, every other thing, electricity. Where is it? Erdogan for opening this country's border to accommodate millions of refugees in, the, in dire need of humanitarian support. Wow. He opened border for Nigerians whom the Boko Haram we are chasing away from their villages and from their communities. Erdogan will open border for them. The New Deal. 
Let us hear the new deal. Reciprocating Erdogan gesture, Buhari recently visited Istanbul for the Turkey Africa Partnership Summit. Buhari celebrated. Okay. I think uh, with this regard, with this regard, I think I have, before we proceed, I think I have some video of the visit. I believe I have some video with regards to that visit. Let us see that video. With regards to that visit of Edohan. Was it this one? Let's see. Let's see this video before we proceed. His three nation tour of African countries, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has arrived in Nigeria's federal capital, okay. Abuja. This one where is just when Erdogan or Erdogan come to Nigeria capital. Abuja. So uh, let me actually see if I will be able to pick back up that one of Buhari visit to Edohan. Otherwise, if I am not able to pick it up, that means we are going to go back to use the photos. This was when Buhari visited Turkey, Istanbul, to see this guy called Erdogan. Now, as we continue to read while it is still there on that news, we continue to read. Reciprocating Erdogan gesture, Nigeria visited Istanbul for the Turkey-Africa Partnership Summit. Buhari celebrated his 79th birthday while away in Turkey with his wife Aisha and the seven ministers during the visit, which presidency of presidency officials describe as epic. Several agreement as epic. Several agreements was reached. Buhari spokesman Garbashe who said. In a Facebook post that Turkish technology be the te Turkish technology, comma, be their dro be their drones or even through the supply of manufacture of military ordnance in Nigeria, we surely quicken this process and the effort to get to rid Nigeria of pocket of terrorists to rid. Nigeria of pockets of terrorists and the menace of kidnappers and bandits from their wide experience from their wide experience and uh, from their wide experience and advance advances in technology in fighting terrorism and banditry they have a lot to give. They have a lot to give. And uh, they have a lot to give. And they have assured us that they will give that support. Now, I am going to pause it here again. I was distracted. That's why I was because I'm broadcasting from home. So now... I'm going to pause it here to now come to it. They, they, if you read this place, Garba Shehu told you that they would, if they explore this alliance and this agreement, rather, that it will make them to get rid of all these terrorists and the menace kidnapping attacks in Nigeria. And they went ahead and they went into this agreement. And what was this agreement all for? What was this agreement all for? That is still for me to tell you. Don't forget, they went into with this agreement. They went into this agreement. Do not forget. 
Okay. Garba Shehu was the one who made that post. In exchange, Shehu said the Nigeria government will not allow the business entities linked to Gulem to undermine its improved relationship with Turkey, even as he revealed that a team from the Turkish defense establishment is expected to be in Nigeria to advance the discussion on the issue of military procurement in January. There you go. The military procurement in January. Ever since they went into this alliance with the Turkish government, what happened? Boko Haram extended their territory. Boko Haram became more strong and stronger. ISWAP joined them. Band, the one they call banditry, which is Mieti Yala, Fulani, terrorists, all of them, they now expanded their territory, coming in, giving communities days for them to evacuate from their community for Boko Haram to come and take it over. Are you paying attention? That was when they went into this alliance. That was when they went into this alliance. No wonder. I hope you are following. I hope you are understanding exactly what is going on here. Now, let me now bring to you this video before we continue to read this news so that you will be able to pick it up. You will now be able to correspond this information, knowing that they said they were going, to, it, will, it was going to enable them to curb the insecurity, to curb the kidnapping, as of kidnapping, and to curb every other attacks on the Nigerian in nigeria so now let me bring you this before we go there now the video let's play the video and see what's going on here who is fooling who turkey is clearly a terrorist state with a broad Television news program says that Turkey is clearly a terrorist state with a broad reach. It reports that Turkey is supplying weapons to the terrorist group Boko Haram in Nigeria. Turkey is clearly is clearly a terrorist group with a broad reach. With a broad reach. Terrorist group with a broad reach. Do you remember? what we read in that article advised that this gulem company finally got started being shut down by nigeria government in order to accept the bid for turkish government to start giving military assistance military weapons and those military weapons were going where to boko haram that's when you see boko haram start you know ambushing people I am having a formidable network attack. Let me refresh this network before we proceed. One moment. I think it is a bit better now. I think I believe it's a bit better now. Let us continue. They said, remember the news we read in, that came in 2021. After this alliance, it was, according to what the Garba said, who gave to the media, it was meant to, you know, to mitigate or rather curb the menace of kidnapping attacks in Nigeria to curb the menace of terrorist attacks in Nigeria, to make sure they put an end to the terrorism in Nigeria. That was what they told you. But now, hear the news of what it was. The agreement they went into, 
to make sure that they support Boko Haram terrorists to make sure that Nigeria is Islamized. Listen to it. I am going to start it afresh for you to hear it again. Television news program says that Turkey is clearly a terrorist state with a broad reach. It reports that Turkey is supplying weapons to the terrorist group Boko Haram in Nigeria. 10 TV host Nishat Al Delhi reported on a leak confirming an intercepted phone call from a few years back confirming the action. He reported in part, today's leak confirms without a doubt that Erdogan, his state, his government, and his party are transferring weapons from Turkey to, this is a shock, to where you may ask to Nigeria and to whom. Transferring weapon to where you may ask Nigeria. That is because we expose that the U.S. should not transfer weapon to Nigeria because they buy this weapon from U.S. They use helicopter, military helicopter to go and give it to Boko Haram. Straight. That is the reason why you will see each military that is coming from the southern region, they go to fight Boko Haram. They will be the ones to die. Just like you heard 30 of them died. They will be the ones to be slaughtered by Boko Haram. Because Nigeria is not willing to fight Boko Haram. Nigeria is, is willing to continue to support Boko Haram. That is what Nigeria is doing. They are sponsoring Boko Haram. And they see that the only way they will be able to give these people what they want is through making an alliance with a terrorist government with, in a, with a blood reach, which is Turkey El Khan. Turkish Erdogan, which is seen as a terrorist government with a blood reach. Now, that is what you are hearing here. They are supplying those weapons. The same one, Garbashe, who told you that they are made alliance with, with the news, that we are still going back to the news. But let's pay attention to this one. Because that is the reason why I brought it together. Because we keep record in case if similar thing happen. And I know that the reason why this thing came out Remember, there is a video making round that British government is the one enhancing the terrorism in Nigeria. I am not surprised that this video came back to the came that this video surfaced because ever since this video, they were oppressing this video for it not to get into the hands of people like us. But thank God for that person who said British government is the one promoting terrorism. They have their own, you know, fair share in the terrorism going on in Nigeria because. The more it is going on, the more they are benefiting. So that's why this video surface to redirect the narrative, to make it seem as if it is only Turkey. It is not only them. But we we'll concentrate on Turkey now, Erdogan, the one we have at hand. Let us continue. To the Boko Haram organization. Well, Raymond Ibrahim, a journalism fellow at the David Horowitz Freedom Center and an expert on the Middle East and Islam, joins us now with more on this. Welcome, Raymond. Hello, Heather. Are you surprised by this report? What's your take on it? No, I'm not surprised. And um, my take on it is that this, the actual tape that was made that you referenced and you quoted was made apparently um, in 2014 or 15. And um, it was reported widely in certain areas in the U.S. and in the West, not so much, and not much came out of it. And the reason, I think, is because Erdogan wasn't so, um, didn't have his fingers so much in um, Islamist politics outside of his own nation. But now that we've seen, you know, um, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the ISIS Islamic State Caliph who was killed recently, and he was found just three miles from the Turkish border, which is in fact one of the last, or if not the last bastion of jihadi so-called freedom fighters of attacking the Syrian government, um, it, it's brought it up again, the fact that he's, everyone is saying, well, look, he's supporting ISIS. So now we're remembering, and that's that was, I think, the point of the Egyptian show, where we're bringing back to see that there's some continuity here. It's not just right next door to Syria, uh, to Turkey, meaning Syria. He's got, he's involved with some of the absolute worst Islamic terror groups. Remember Boko Haram, which its name loosely means um, Western education is forbidden, Haram, um, is was basically doing what ISIS was do, is, is notorious for years before ISIS. So the whole, you know, head chopping, crucifying, massacres, enslaving women and children, burning people alive, Boko Haram was doing that. And one of the things that international observers have been noticing, especially increasingly, is that their armaments, their weapons, are very sophisticated. 
Did you hear that? That's the way we saw it. They confirmed it. They are making an alliance with the terrorist state. That's why we told you that Nigeria is going to be declared Islamist state come 2023. That is all the effort they are making as we are speaking right now to declare Nigeria as an Islamic state come 2023. When you people will be busy ch chasing after a shadow of uh, uh, presidency, they will be busy declaring Nigeria Islamic state. And it is not, it is not, it is inevitable. It is inevitable. They are now forming an alliance with everybody fighting to declare Islamic State. That is the reason why you heard the news. Now let's go back to it. What we are reading. Let's finish the reading. Let us finish the reading. Now, he added the national security component equally has a Turkish uh, ang angle to eat and one that turned to be, be one of the gains in the sense that both countries have a common view of what Turkey perceives as a security threat to their nation and its leadership present the, the Nigeria presents as its leadership rather present in Nigeria. This is about some Turkish investment schools and hospital associated with associated with an opposition figure linked to the abortive coup and attempted assassination of President Erdogan. The president's spokesman noted that this end, the, Niger the financial regulator, the central bank of Nigeria, CBN, will ensure that funds cannot be moved from any of these firms into Turkey to undermine Erdogan's government. You, did you hear that? They are protecting the, the man who is sponsoring Boko Haram with a military arsenals to bombard you. Gov the government of Nigeria will not allow any part of our territory to be used to undermine a friendly state such as Turkey, Islamic State. Under our strict central bank and the financial intelligence unit go governance structure and management money from the investment in issue cannot be moved anywhere to finance sub heresive activities says garba Shehu. he urged that while the protection of foreign investment is sacro sacrosanct the nigeria government clearly will not allow any interest individual or group to undermine the very warm and cordial relationship between the two nations, which is Turkey and Nigeria. The Turkey that is supplying weapons to Boko Haram. Apart from Turkey's military assistance, Buhari also hopes to ensure that Erdogan would assist Nigeria to build infrastructure, which has been an exclusive preserve of China. The Marie Foundation, founded by the Turkish government, is also expected to build a five-star hotel and conference center, schools, and a world-class hospital in Abuja, the Nigeria capital. Uh, you know, when they are building this, they are not doing all these things knowing that Nigeria will be declared Islamic State. Nigeria will be declared Islamic State. That is when they will now start getting the achievement or their benefit from all these things they told you they are going to be bringing to Nigeria. Because they can only do it in order to benefit when they take over Nigeria as Islamic State. These things now, they will be able, they will handle everything, they will govern you, they will do everything by themselves. That is their, their primary purpose of bringing all those things. That is their primary purpose of supporting Boko Haram. They want an alliance, they want a land, they want to have fair share with the land of the oil that you have in Nigeria and the gold that you have in Zamfara State. That is the fair share that they want to have. Their Islamist counterpart, Garba Shehu, the, the man in Asorok, which is maybe the Boko Haram leader, Shekau, is the one that is wearing the mask in Asorok. That all these things, 
they are now you are now bringing it together connecting the dots now discovering what we've been saying about these people that these people they mean no good for anybody in nigeria all they want is to islamize you turkish government they have their interest to deep hand into nigeria oil nigeria resources to islamize you the only way they will be able to thrive in their plans to get into the country is to make you islam you know islamize you rather okay now we continue to read we are rounding up the this program a former director general with the nigeria institute of international affairs prof bola akin akin Terimwa, told the africa report that nigeria new deal in eldohan was not strange in the international politics and should not scare investors are you paying attention should not scare investors the reason why they are calling on this not to scare investors because investors know now they are no longer safe under the islamist regime under the islamist you know introduction because they want to introduce islamic state that's why they are telling them it is not going to you shouldn't scare them away <laughs> because they know what they are up, up against they know what they are going into and the investors foreign investors remember they will make inquiries before they go into business with any countries so they know that foreign investor will find out exactly what they are up to that's why they are telling them in advance that this will not be a problem for them they should br keep bringing the business that in nigeria being islamic state i am just phrasing it the way i understand it now nigeria being islamic state or whatever will not affect any foreign investment that they should continue to come as continue to read the news akinterimwa who has instrumental who was instrumental in shaping nigeria foreign policy between 2011 and 2015 however said nigeria lacked the capacity to monitor the movement of fund from these businesses under surveillance nigeria will not be in a position to know how money made in nigeria by these businesses will be spent abroad we are only in a position to know how the money is moved about in nigeria he said he maintained that such an arrangement coming barely 13 months to the next election may not last beyond buhari's administration which ends in 2023 are you paying attention <laughs> are you paying attention i'm i'm beginning to like this article that i'm reading because it is actually giving us clue to what is to come in 2023 it is giving us clue to what is to before you in 2023 the end of this that is the reason why if you ask this man in asorok will you extend will you go for another term in office he will say no i don't want to go for another term in office because they are establishing their plans to islamize you so he does not need to tell you to be scared he wants you to be relaxed so that it will take all of you by surprise but i am telling you now this is exactly what they want to do to you this is it and that is the reason why i am bringing this news the video the news written in 2021 i brought it back for you to understand the exposition because it will not be beyond 2023 that they will islamize you that's the meaning of this thing also speaking with the um, i continue to read the africa report prophets prof prof david aworo aworao the head of department history and strategy studies of the university of lagos said nigeria ought not to have agreed to monitor private businesses in order to please Erdogan. did you hear that they have to please him because he will help them to achieve islamic state you have no idea the international the international relationship expert stated the issue of monitoring certain funds that should not leave the country will be problematic 
I think the Nigeria government should have insisted that this clause was not in, uh, in, inserted into the agreement. These things are bound to complicate relations and they could undermine the positive that are not controversial. If I was the president's advisor, I would have advised him against it. <laughs> I would have advised him against it. That is what, that is the, you know, the take of the former, of the international relations expert that if he was the president, he will not advise him against it not to monitor the fund how they are used from uh, you know that are the funds that are coming out from nigeria businesses or from investors going to the other countries what is being used for so this man is saying if he was the president's advisor he will not advise him against it these people are coming to colonize you these people are coming to islamize you this was when this man a three-day state visit in which he signed various defense industry mining and agricultural agreement with a southern african country at the inam de azigawe international airport to receive the turkish president where nigeria's minister of foreign affairs joffrey oyama minister of federal capital territory mohammed musabelo Musa Bilu, Ambassador of Nigeria to Turkey, Ismail Yusuf Abba, and Ambassador of Turkey to Nigeria, Hidayat Barakta. During the visit, President Edouan will hold an expanded bilateral talks and one-on-one -on -one meeting with his Nigerian counterpart, President Muhammad Buhari. At the end of the talks, the two leaders will take part in a signing ceremony of bilateral agreements and then speak at a joint press conference. President Edouan is expected to depart Abuja. What are the clause of this bilateral agreement? Those are the ones I read for you. They will make sure that they will supply weapons to who? To Boko Haram, but they tell you to the military of Nigeria. That is the bilateral relationship, and that is the clause that is in those bilateral relationships because it was not made public. The clause, the only thing made public is the one that will mislead the public. To think that this bilateral relationship or agreement they are going into is to help them curb the menace of terrorist attack or the menace of kidnapping in Nigeria or the activities of terrorists in Nigeria. That's exactly what they want. The one they want you to see is the one they presented. And that is what you just saw. And that's what you will continue to see because they are making a fool out of you every day that is the bilateral agreement continue to togo at the end of his visit that is it at the end of his visit this is where it all began and now i am advising you and i am calling on all of you by arms to defend yourself let it not be like um, um, what happened in Afghanistan. You do not possess any arm. Buy arm to defend yourself. 2023, it is going to be bloody in Nigeria. Turkey is sponsoring these people with military equipment, sponsoring these people with all the... You see how they have sophisticated weapons, which Nigeria military does not even have. Yet, they claim that they are going into bilateral agreement with Turkey, that they will supply Nigeria military with these things. Since that time, Boko Haram has been working strong. They've been doing even, they've been extending their reaches. reaches. They are now expanding their, their areas. They are now expanding the whole south, um, northeast. They are going to northwest. They are expanding, moving forward. They're even coming down to south in the military uniform to show you that 2023 is going to take you by force. I acknowledge those of you in that comment section. We will not be able to, to further this. We will not be able to take calls or invite people. I am making this video because in a very that's why it is going to be very short because I have visitors 
and I have something to attend to quickly. But I see, I said I must make this video in order for our people to be informed. Share this video, invite other people to join. Don't forget, we do not forget, we can never forget. We will continue to follow the news, we will continue to follow to expose every activities of these people in Nigeria trying to dehumanize you, trying to demonize you, trying to make you what you are not, trying to kill you, trying to bring you into their religion by force. Now, you saw the news and you should make use of this news. A stitch in time saves Nile. A stitch in time saves Nile. Make a hair while the sun shines. Otherwise, you will be taken by surprise. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay informed. We will continue to bring the news as it is presenting itself. But don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Judge Money Blog, YouTube, Judge Money Blog Africa, or YouTube, Judge Money Official, or Facebook as well, Judge Money Official. Don't forget to follow us there. We will continue to bring you all this exclusive information. We have a subscription button. In case if you want to support what we are doing, there is a subscription button. You click on it, you support, subscribe, and support what we are doing so that we will continue to support and, uh, you know, fund our network in order to continue to bring you a professional information and present it professionally. Mechukwo Kikabe, I'm going to protect our leader, wherever he is, who made us, enlightened us to continue the good work to enlighten others. May he continue to live protected. Very soon we know he will regain his freedom. Whether the Nigeria want it or not, whether the cabals in Asorok want it or not, we will continue to expose them. The highest thing they will do to us is to extraordinary rendition us. There is, you know, it is not a new thing or they kill us. That's the best they can do, but they will never stop this struggle. We will continue to preach this gospel until Biafra come and beyond. We will continue to preach the gospel for freedom until Africa is restored to a normalcy. And our people is decolonized and emancipate from mental slavery until we continue to break, support brand africa there is a new project we are working on to make sure that we talk about brand africa we are bringing a platform that talks about brand africa we will discuss the challenges of africa and how it is going to be solved because of course you know mazen nam the can who said that biafra will open the eyes of black people all over the world we will continue to we will start that project to continue to open the eyes of our fellow black counterparts all over the world in order to make sure that they are carried along and they we are we'll make a platform we are all of them We'll be able to join not only platform that is limited to Biafrans only. We will be talking about African decolonization in that platform. We will be talking about brand in Africa. We will be talking about African roots and African cultures, African systems, and how Africa was doing their trade, maybe through trade by butter. We are going to be discussing those challenges and find a way to curb all this poverty in africa and the challenges the common men are facing in africa at one some point we will be inviting some of the pan-african african, african uh, movement uh, uh, members of the pan-african movement we will be inviting some of those who believe in african ways and that is africanacity until we meet again stay blessed